Hi guys, this is for the Masters in Applied E-Learning. I just wanted to show you how to insert multi-choice questions into a web page, but to do it using a recording rather than live, just so you can consider and reflect upon the issues associated with distance and online learning. So as well as learning about the technique, I want you to think about how you're finding the experience. So I've created a simple web page. If we open it up with Notepad just to look at it, as you can see, it just consists of a head and a body. The head just has a title that will be displayed in the blue bar of the browser on top. It says this is a sample page. And the body just has the text multi-choice questions. And I've told it to be in bold. So if we close this and double click on the file, we'll see, as I said, in the blue bar it says this is a sample page. And the text in bold is multi-choice questions. Now if we go to my web page www.comp.dit.ie slash dgordon and from there we go to courses and authoring if we scroll down to the course notes week number three is using Dreamweaver and part two of week number three is multi-choice questions in HTML so let's just click on that attached file and we'll open it with WinZip. Inside this WinZip file is a, simply a text file which we'll double click and open up and maximize and look at. As you can see it says there's two parts to this and you place part one into the head tags. So I'm going to select all of part one just by running the text out. There's all of part one selected. Now I'm going to go edit copy I'm going to go back to our original file, right click on it and open it with notepad again. And I'm going to put it in the head, just underneath the title, the information I've copied. So I'll go edit, paste. We'll go back to the file again and we'll copy part two. We'll select everything from part two. We'll go edit, copy, back into our file, so in the body, between the body tags, underneath the title, if we go edit, paste, and then we save that, we should set changes, yes please, we'll close the sample file, and then we open our example file once more, you can see it's got the information in it. We'll select answers at random. And at the bottom it says turn it in or erase all answers. Let's turn it in. And as you can see it generates which answers are correct and which are wrong. And in my case all of my answers are wrong. So I hope you have fun with that. Thanks very much for, the, for participating in this online lesson. It's a very different experience, isn't it?